share with you guys and help you out because some people might think after leak coding the battle's over no the battle's just beginning yo what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel in this video i wanted to talk about what happens after leak code so let's get right into it so you've been leak coding for a while now you've been doing your programming your leak coding you're applying you're doing your resume you're setting up projects you you're applying to hundreds of thousands of different jobs and I want you guys to understand this before you get yourself into a mess okay I want you guys to understand and get an idea what happens afterwards so after you leak code the first thing that comes is an interview okay now if you've neglected your interviewing skills I'm talking you know being able to talk to people uh, start working on that now if you've neglected your skills on being able to tell people what you know start working on that now if you've been trapped in the basement for you know three months leak coding you can solve reverse a binary search tree but you can't explain how to do it start working on that now so after leak coding there becomes an interview okay that's the easy part get through that interview if you've been leak coding you should be able to knock that out easily and sometimes it's not just about you being able to interview it's about is the interviewee going to you know be a, going to like you you know because that's that's basically what it comes down to is the interviewee or interviewer gonna be able to like yeah I can work with this guy or oh I don't want to work with this guy I'm not hiring him no matter if, if you're like the best lead coder the best interview is you know interview problem solver it doesn't matter if the person doesn't like you and I hate to say it but unless you got a good company who you know really knows how to have a good interviewer then you're kinda out of luck but after the interview okay that's the easy part get through that and you're gonna go through thousands hundreds and as long as you keep your head up you'll be good now when you get on the job that's where the real drama comes okay the real the real icing on the cake the real work so leak code is I hate to say it but leak code is useless at this point you know you, you solve the you solve the problems you solve the the challenges okay now throw all that in the trash and what do you know now because that's what it comes down to in these jobs throw, throw all that all that leak coding those data structures and algorithms throw it on the trash and really understand like okay you take all that that away what do you know now what are you good with are you you know right now if you're asking you what if I asked you take away the leak code what, what do you know can you answer that I hate to say it but can you answer that because that's what it comes down to during the work during the internship during the job you finally you know you're at this mountain of you know do solving hard problems with your language you throw all that away um, what projects have you worked on? Do you know Git? Do you know, you know, version control? Do you know how to hop in the Linux terminal and traverse and move, move files from this folder to this folder all in the terminal? Do you know how to SSH? Do you know how to open up and run and test? Do you know how to do all these things? Is I hate to say it, but that stuff is a whole nother ball game of its own. And if you haven't worked on that type of thing and you haven't jumped in there then it's you're going to be thrown back after leak coding there's a whole world other than leak code and i want you guys to understand this while you're leak coding because you can get so fed up so focused on leak code leak code leak code, leak code. problem solve problem solve problem solve oh uh data structure algorithm data structure algorithm and you look up whoa i got the job i'm all i'm, all, I'm here you know you're looking around you don't even know what you're doing. Okay, I hate to say that's how it happened to me. You're looking around. What's going on? Oh, oh, I got a code. Well, let me just throw things together. And you're you're coding. You cannot code like you're leak coding. When you're leak coding, you're like you throw you throw a for loop, a couple things, and you're not looking at the structure of the code. You're not looking. Okay, a year from now, when I'm not here, is some guy gonna be able to come in and understand this and work on it? Uh. Do I know how to write documentation? Do I really do I truly know what's going on here in this code? That's what happens after leak code, guys. Okay. 
after leak code, after you solve the problem, that's what you need to work on. And if you have this in the back of your mind, when you're leak coding, boom, you're going to be on top. You're going to be a leg up on top of all these other guys, all these other people who are just leak coding. You know, if you just take you know, 30 minutes a day just seeing how code is truly formatted correct, um, setting up code at, in a way that will be used in the future, it's easily understanding. You know, you're not doing four I, you're doing like four variable names, you know, and and guys, that's what's after leak code. You know, there's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different, a whole different depth. You know how leak code, you're like, oh, we're just solving problems. And then you start to do it and you realize, oh my goodness, this isn't just solving problems. This is data structure. This is algorithm. It's deep, 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 deep time complexity. You can go so deep into it. Well, after leak code, it's the same deal. How code is set up version control, documentation, all these things have deep, 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 deep formats and ways of doing things. And it's basically an art, a skill. And the, as soon as you start learning it, you'll be better off. Like if you know how to branch and get, oh my goodness, you, you got to leg up on all the other people. Like during work, this is what helps you. Being able to branch off, know, knowing how commits merge together and just having that mental map of how everything works it's gonna set you up on your game. You're gonna be coming in, you know, killing the job, killing the internship, killing it, anything, any project that you want to do. It doesn't even have to be for money, but doing these things, understanding these things, that's what's gonna get you a leg up. That's what's gonna help you out after the leak code. You know, that's that's the real meat of the sauce. You know, that's the real meat of programming and computer science and and all of that. And if you truly have care and really take every type of code every type of thing that you're setting up if you're really setting it up in a way that can be used in the future can be easily maintained can be easily scaled can be easily somebody else come in and look at and like man that's some nice code i can understand what's going on it doesn't need to read documentation for you know eight hours 40 hours a week just to understand what's going on guys that's what's going to help you out after leak code that's the battles that's coming after leak code and the sooner you understand that now, the sooner you're going to be better at improving that side of things, improving that side of your skills. And I wanted to share this message. And, you know, because right now I don't know where you are at. You know, the guy watching, the girl watching this video, I don't know where you're at. You could probably be elite coding at this point and not even have a vision of after leak code. Or you could be somebody who finally is done with the leak coding and you're like, oh, now I need to work on you know these side of things conversion control code setup all this and if you don't know this is coming if you're not open to learning these things open to un realizing that you got another battle coming if you're not ready and mentally you know with the fortitude and ready to go you know the, the real battle starts now that's going to knock you back if you're not ready for that and i want to share with you guys and help you out because some people might think after leak coding, the battle's over. No, the battle's just beginning. You gotta learn how to deal with people. You know, you can't be uh, one of those those basement dweller coder. You know, Cheeto hands. People want to see like, okay, can you explain what you just code coded here? Um, can you teach me this? Can you show me how to do it? Is this set up in a way that is gonna be good for while we're not here? You know. So guys, I just want to give y'all a heads up and. And who, whoever's watching this, I know there's somebody out there who needs to take a step back and look at the bigger picture and look after leak code. Or, you know, just realize that there's more to things when you get the job. When you, after the interview and after all that, that nonsense is over with, okay, can you actually do the work? Can you actually solve problems for people for money? Because that's basically what it comes down to. They're paying you to solve problems uh, using a language, a framework, a whatever in the best way possible using Git and all these technologies, whatever it may be. You might, you know, whatever it may be, you're just solving problems in a way that's scalable, maintainable, and better than the other guy because you got hired. Now, guys, I want you to understand this and just keep it in the back of your mind and, you know, keep it positive. Like the video, comment down below something. You know, that's something that we may not 
somebody may not know until they see it or until they because you can't you don't know what you don't know and guys subscribe and i got more videos like this coming you know because this can save somebody a mental battle a a it can save them a lot of you know contemplating a lot of imposter syndrome and guys i will see you on the next one peace